Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I wanted to discuss with you this morning is a couple new items from Short Lane Arms. And as you know, Ray Bannister and I have worked together on lots and lots of projects. And the development through time of different types of adapters and uses for the single shot 12 gauge, which is my favorite all around gun for the woods. And what I want to show you today is I want to show you some new accessories that Ray's come up with in conjunction with ideas that I've given him for muzzle loading your 12 gauge. And we've talked lots of times about the 12 gauge as a muzzle loader. You've seen the 12 gauge muzzle loading 209 shotgun primer adapter for the 12 gauge, and we'll look at that real quick. But I want to show you a small set of tools that we've come up with together that enhance that 12 gauge muzzle loading kit a little bit. And I also want to show you a takedown ramrod that Ray's also developed for your 12 gauge. Stay with me. Okay, so real quick, in case you haven't seen this 209 shotgun primer adapter for the 12 gauge, it's basically just an adapter that you put into the breech of your 12 gauge that allows you to use it as a muzzle loader by giving you a well for a 209 shotgun primer. So I can take my single shot 12 gauge and break it open put this adapter inside just like this put a 209 shotgun primer in here and close it up and we have a crossbar safety mechanism in this 12 gauge so it's not going to fire it off or anything like that by accident and then I can treat this just like a muzzle loader which allows me a variety of loads that I can put into the gun as well as the adaptability of that 12 gauge to be able to shoot something else besides a standard load. I can also shoot black powder through this gun and then when you open it up, the ejector pushes it out and you can pull it out to fully clean the gun as well as clean the adapter itself. Now, let's talk about real quick one accessory that he's come up with that I haven't done a video on yet, which is this takedown ramrod. And this takedown ramrod, ramrod is basically like a folding tent stake made from fiberglass. It's the length of your barrel so that you can use it as a ramrodding device. But because it's takedown, you can also put it into your haversack. And it folds down perfectly to fit the Pathfinder haversack that we sell. If you fold it down in sections like this it perfectly fits inside the bottom of that Pathfinder haversack just exactly the right length to sit in the bottom of that haversack so you've got a ramrod since you don't have a ramrod on the gun like a normal muzzle loader would have okay now let's talk about this new tool or this new set of tools and it comes on a large ring like this and the whole idea behind this was that there's certain tools that you need when you're muzzle loading that I've taught people how to create in past videos but I wanted a standard set of tools that would go along with this muzzle loading adapter and this ramrod to make a complete kit for muzzle loading your single shot 12 gauge so what we've got on here and a little bit of this is just fluff you've got a little carabiner on here that's pretty much fluff you have a bottle opener on here with a Pathfinder logo on one side, Short, Lames Ar Short Lane Arms logo on the other side. Again, that's kind of just fluff. The main tools that are on this that are important are, first of all, you have a jag here that you can attach your string to to drop down through your barrel so that you can pull your wad through the barrel or your cleaning rag through the barrel or your steel wool through the barrel, whatever you're cleaning your barrel with. All you need to do is tie a string on here or a piece of bank line, drop this down either way from the muzzle end or from the breech end, and you can then pull whatever you're using for a cleaning implement through the barrel of that gun. You also have a neural gripped Phillips screwdriver which allows you to take the forend grip off of a New England or a H&R shotgun so you have a tool for disassembly of that shotgun. You have a powder measure that's set up to be a powder as well as a shot measure, an equal volume of shot or powder and this one's made for Pyrodex powder. So off the shelf at Walmart, $12 a pound Pyrodex powder can be used now with this shotgun. 
and you would fill this up with Pyrodex or fill this up with shot, depending on what you were using to load the gun. You also have a choke identifier on here, a choke gauge, so that if you have a shotgun that you've purchased and you're not sure what the choke is, you can drop this choke gauge in and it will stop and tell you what your choke is. M is for modified. You have 12 gauge full choke, modified and approved cylinder choke. So you drop it down until it stops and you look at it and that's a modified choke shotgun. So this gives you a choke identification tool for your gun as well. And then you have, last but not least, you have a nipple pick on here basically that allows you to clean any residue from this adapter. So you can just push it through that 209 shotgun primer hole there for your ignition hole and clean any residue of powder out of that ignition hole. So it gives you a good set of usable tools that are very important when you're muzzle loading. So again, you have a jag that you can drop through for cleaning. You have a disassembly tool, a powder and shot measure, a choke gauge, and a nipple pick or a, an ignition hole pick for lack of a better term. And all of those come on one key ring and you also get this carabiner and this bottle opener as a bonus on there. And you could take these pieces and parts off, that's why they're on different split rings, and attach them to different parts where you would need them. Like I don't need a choke gauge all the time, I don't need a cleaning jag all the time, but I use a powder measure quite a bit and the nipple pick quite a bit. So I may take them off of there, put them on a leather thong and attach them to the strap of my haversack so they're readily available for use all the time where the rest of this stuff might just be in my cleaning kit or even back at camp for disassembly and things like that, choke gauges, that stuff may be in camp. But this gives you a full set of tools to use with your shotgun in conjunction with this 209 muzzleloader adapter. Okay, so let's talk about just a quick refresher on muzzleloading your 12 gauge. Again, the versatility of that allows you to shoot black powder from your 12 gauge. Now you could load shotgun shells very easily with black powder if you chose to do so. There's no problem with that. This just adds versatility. The true versatility of this thing is that it allows you to be able to shoot both modern ammunition and a more primitive load like black powder from the same gun. And you can do this stuff on the fly if you need to without loading shells ahead of time. You can carry just a few implements with you to shoot the black powder. And if you were carrying modern loads and you ran out for some reason and you had this stuff in your bag as well, you have that versatility to switch over to black powder very quickly. It doesn't take a whole lot of stuff to be able to do this. What I've got is I've got a black container here that's made of tin, and what it contains is some sheep's wool wadded up inside there and some 209 shotgun primers. So those are two of my main components I'm going to need. I'm also going to need a flask for powder. Any of this stuff can be purchased online. And then I need a bag that's going to contain my shot. And this one contains six shot. It's a handmade deerskin bag that I made a long time ago. That's just a shot bag that's got an opening on it that I can dump shot out of into a measuring device like the short lane arms powder measure and shot measure that we talked about earlier. All right, so I can carry any type of shot I want to in here. I can carry multiple types of shot or I can carry round ball. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the whole can I shoot round ball out of my 12 gauge conversation with the short lane arms adapter. I have done it. That's as far as I'm going to tell you. Do some research. Figure it out for yourself. But as far as shot goes, buck shot loads, six shot, number two, number four, anything you want to shoot out of this thing as far as shot goes, it's very simple. All you have to do is either buy the shot in bulk, which is what I do. I buy number six in bulk, and then I have a bullet mold for double lot buck. So I can mold buckshot from six shot. It's much easier in the field to carry shot and mold round ball than it is to carry a round ball and try to mold shot. It doesn't work both ways. It's easier to carry the mold, melt the round shot or melt the shot into a ladle and make round ball. So I always carry shot in the field and then some kind of a round ball mold depending on what I'm trying to do with that shotgun and a ladle. But for just shooting shotgun ammunition like six shot, I need the shot, I need powder, I need something I can use for wad, and I use sheep's wool for that. 
because it's already got lanolin in it, so it kind of lubricates the barrel on the way out. It's fire retardant, so it doesn't catch the woods on fire when it comes out the other end. And it makes a good cleaning implement for the gun as well for wiping it down and keeping it clean. Or cleaning the barrel itself when I'm done shooting it, I need to do maintenance on the gun. And then I carry 209 shotgun primers. So with that, I really only need to shoot the gun. I really just want the nipple pick to clean out my nipple or my ignition hole. And then I need the measure. And it's very simple at that point to load the gun. We'll talk about that really, really quickly. Now I know somebody's gonna ask me in this video and what I'm gonna tell you is, talk to your Fish and Wildlife or your Fish and Game Division. I have talked to my game officer in Ohio and he's already told me that as long as I'm not carrying normal shotgun ammunition or three inch slugs and things like that and all I have is black powder accessories with my single shot 12 gauge it is legal to hunt with during the black powder season in the state of Ohio at least in the area that he's in charge of. He's not going to bust me for doing that. You need to check with the laws in your local area but as far as I'm concerned where I live I can now use this gun during the muzzle loading season and that's important as well for me because it, again it makes this gun more versatile for the price of an H&R 12 gauge. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our adapter into the gun and it really doesn't matter as far as the clocking goes of this thing. You've got a little bit of a cutout here because it's center fire so the clocking doesn't matter. On rim fire you want to clock these adapters to 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock. But on this one, it doesn't matter because it's center fire. You've got a little bit of a cutout right here. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to grab a hold of the lip of that spent primer and pop it out of there. But you could always now pull this out and shove that pin through there to knock it out if it gets stuck from expansion or something like that. Then you're going to take a 209 shotgun primer that you buy anywhere and you're going to put it in that adapter just like that. Now I have basically for lack of a specialized term, I now have an Encore in my hand, okay? Then I'm going to load this gun like I would any normal muzzle loader. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my measure and I'm going to take a full measure of powder, of Pyrodex. And this thing is set up so it fits the gun just perfect for a 12 gauge. Then I'm going to take a wad. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of this. Be conservative. Save your sheep's wool. Don't use any more than you need. And I have my ramrod. And I can push this all the way down to the adapter. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the same measure and take a measure of shot. Again, a full measure of six shot on top of the wad, just like that. Close up my shot. Now I'm going to take another wad of wool and shove it down inside the gun and ramrod that down inside on top and now I have basically created a shotgun shell inside this firearm of six shot and I can put everything in my shooting bag and I'm ready for the next load after I shoot this shot and now I'm ready to hunt all right so I stuck a monster can in the tree you can see it waving around there and it's I don't know a ways away probably 15 yards from here and we'll go ahead and shoot that can so you can look at the pattern. All right, so there's our can full of holes. Done deal. No problem. Squirrel, fowl. No sweat with this 209 shotgun primer adapter. All right, guys. Well, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me today for this quick video on this new toolkit for the 12 gauge muzzleloader adapter by Short Lane Arms. This toolkit, as well as the other accessories, should be available on our website soon. Most of this stuff is already available at Short Lane Arms if you check out his website as well. 
again, I really like working with Ray. I like coming up with these new innovative products to improve on an idea that is timeless. Being able to shoot black powder from a single shot 12 gauge shotgun and use it as a muzzle loader on the fly is just another piece of versatility, another tool for your toolbox. It may not be something you want to do every day, but it's something to keep in the back of your head as a versatile option for your single shot 12 gauge. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.